but I'm not married. Hello, YouTube. We are back with the thrilling conclusion of Magus. Magus. My juice. Megus. Give me some juice. Many much mice moose. We're going to Valhalla Castle. I guess I'm ready, man. Like, am I even saving the game? Should I be doing that? Is that a thing? Uh, is it auto saving? Well, this is the end of the PlayStation Three, so should be good. <laughs> I love how we teleported here after just talking about how we can't teleport places we can't see. Yeah, we saw it in our mind. In our mind's eye. My king. This final battle will determine the fates of two kingdoms. Your destiny awaits. A destiny that would have been forever lost without you to guide me, blank you face. Me far too much credit, my king. Not nearly enough. A fact that I intend to remedy <laughs> soon. With the sex. S-E-K-S. <laughs> what do you mean? We'll talk more about that later. Let's finish what we came here to do first. I am with you until the end, my king. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna. What, what was what was that on Star Trek? The 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 lizard man. <laughs> oh, we can't say. Neat. What was it? Gorgon? Gorgon? Sure, man. I can't remember the lizard man that fucking. Uh, Is it a gort? A gork? Is a gore or something? Ah. <sighs> been a long time since I've watched Star Trek. And then there was like a coffee mug in the background or something? Yeah. Well, that's yeah, fine. Sure. It's good for he Game of Thrones. He was thirsty. <laughs> yeah. It's Star well, Starbucks. It's a little different. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Are you bad guys? Oh, oh yeah. They're, ooh, they're tough. Go, oh, my killer women. Did this just become a harem game? <laughs> Probably. I'm okay with that. Yes. Have you ever played the game where you're dating pigeons? Half a full boyfriend? Are you talking about Kath uh, Catherine? No. <laughs> I think it's called Half a Full Boyfriend. Oh, then no. And you like date birds. Really? Is that is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> you're like, wait, are you talking about Catherine? I'm like, no. <laughs> it's a different game. We had animal. I guess that was the sheep then while yeah, he was sleeping. But that's true. No, I have not. I actually never heard of the pigeon dating. You're not a pigeon. <laughs> you're dating bitch. Exactly. I think you're just a regular school girl, and you're dating a bunch of birds. You should look it up. I'm gonna say this is a Japanese game. Why would you say that? Because they're weird, man. They are not weird. You be nice. Don't get me wrong. Some of the games I, are weird. I love some of the, most, most of their stuff. But they can't tell me that some of their shit they I mean, haven't you ever wanted to date a bunch of birds? Don't lie. I'm not a furry, so I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, here's a question for you. Would you date Siamese twins? Yes. Now, would you... If you date Siamese twins... Also, is Siamese twins an no. offensive term? Let's go with conjoined twins. twins. Yeah. If you date conjoined twins, are you dating two people? Yes. What if one of them doesn't like you? If it's... Uh, just don't look at that side. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I, you, gotta, you gotta respect those wishes, the wishes. That's true. It just... I would date uh, conjoined twins. That's all. <laughs> just like, just thought we should right, talk about like, it. All right. I was talking with somebody about that, and they were like... Yeah, I'd date conjoined twins, and I was like, yeah, I would too. Why not? <laughs> it's, it's like the... But it gets hard. So what, what type of conjoined... I mean, I guess that's not totally... Like, but... Like... 
you know there's different type, different ways right. they could be conjoined. Right. Um, I don't know. What's a deal breaker for you? Hmm. I remembered you're being recorded right now. <laughs> you are live on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just. I, I guess there's nobody don't... watching right now, but there might be later. I was like, you know, they have to walk. I mean, Both of them? What if what, one of them walks? Well, they have, they have, they, yeah, they have to walk. Well, I mean, what if just one of them walks and the other one, like, like, is killed? It's like, how, you know. What if you only liked the one that was killed? Is this a thing we shouldn't be talking about? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Is it, I'm feeling weird. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I mean, like, physical disabilities, it's whatever. You know, they're just as much people as people without physical disabilities. Yes. But yeah, it's just... It's an interesting thought. And I hope it's not offensive to anyone, because we're yeah. not trying to be offensive. No. You know, we're just... We're like idiots, to... but... <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. But I just like to think about, like... What's okay? What's not okay? What are you okay with? What are what are other people not okay with? You know. Mm -hmm. I can't think of anything that's immediately a deal breaker for me, other than bad personality that I don't like. Right. <laughs> you know, because that's always a deal breaker. I don't care if you're like a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model. If you're a terrible person, I don't want to date you. But don't worry, they don't they don't want to date me either. What's like? I just want to be, I guess, be with somebody that could take care of themselves too. If because if I'm not there, I can I can go out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I get that to a point, but I also think like it just really depends on the person. Yeah, and it's always because I don't mind taking care of people, but about twenty four seven. I don't know. I've never had to, but I do have a baby. I have had to take care of the baby 24-7. And I didn't mind that because I love her. So I guess it'd be the same, you know? Like, if, if I met someone and I really liked them and I loved them, like, I liked them enough to get to know them and fall in love with them, I don't, I don't think I'd care. I don't think. So, one, we're married. So, <laughs> not to each other. No, no, not to each other. I mean, don't get me wrong. I can I'm, do a lot of work. He makes a guy. pretty baby. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, we both have wives, love very dearly, and we had to take care of them while they were pregnant. Mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't have to, but we wanted to, and that's the same thing. It's you like, know, it's like, no, nah, you do what you say. <laughs> it's like, nah. I just had a C-section. Will you help me get up to go to the bathroom? God, lazy. <laughs> no. For the record, not at all. No. Man, I tell you what, though. Like, I'm... And I'm not saying that it, it wasn't hard on her. But... Because your, your child was natural birth, right? Nope. C-section. C-section. Okay, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You come home. You got a brand new baby that you barely know what to do with. Because here's the thing, man. You gotta fill out an application and, like, take classes to adopt a pet, but you want a baby? Just have one. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> you want, oh, you, you want to buy a refrigerator or a television? Here's a 50 page manual. You got a kid? Guess you better Google man. that shit. <laughs> you know? Still learning stuff, the techniques. I, you're and... always gonna be learning stuff about it. But, like, uh, hang on. He's clearly dialogue. My queen has asked me to deliver a message to you. Go ahead. Despite your unwarranted invasion of her nation and the wanton slaughter of her people, Queen Aeola has no desire to go to war with you. If you leave now, she vows not to retaliate for your actions today. Nah. As I expected. Attack! 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 Oh, listen. Oh, yeah, so you come home, you got a brand new baby. You barely know what to do with the brand new baby, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But you also have a wife who's, like, incapacitated because they just gutted her. <laughs> yes. And so you're, like, running around doing everything for her, too, which I didn't mind at all. It was just, like, a lot. <laughs> a 
like, oh god, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Okay, the baby's asleep, oh, but she's awake. Okay, I gotta go make a sandwich and make a bottle and clean the sandwich and clean the bottle. Wait, why did I just clean the sandwich? Oh god, what am I doing? <laughs> it was a frantic two weeks before, like, she was back up on her feet. Yeah. I didn't mind it at all, but, uh, it was frantic, to say the least. Yeah, yeah, it was. So where to now? Hey, cool, red stuff. I need that. I'm surprised nobody has jumped in yet. Would you date an alien? Yes. <laughs> Didn't even have to think about that. Mm -hmm. What if their parts don't line up with your parts and it's purely just like being together? As long as we can have a conversation, I guess that's fine. I mean... You'd figure it out. Yeah, you figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> we look dumb. <laughs> now, alien that looks like that, I don't know. She's hot. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I'd date her, whatever. Lord Magus, is it? I have heard a great deal about Today. you and your exploits. It was past time that I put a face to the name. I know nothing about you. That is... unfortunate. If as gods we are unaware of each other's existences, then how can we possibly expect mankind to know of us? About that. Are you a god? You seem skeptical. You're not the first person I've run across who's claimed divinity. Huh. You must mean Thorn. He was insane even before I encountered him. You know him? Of course. I even made it a point to nurture his delusions of godhood. Pourquoi? I was the one who gave him the Keeper's crown. Mm. He said it was passed down from keeper to keeper. Actually, I gave it to one of his predecessors more than a century ago. But the end result is the same. That's true. I knew that another god would eventually be born, and that magic would once more return to this world. Why didn't you stop magic from disappearing in the first place? For magic to exist in the world, the presence of both male and female gods is required. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. And once magic is restored, items like the Keeper's Crown would come alive, bestowing abilities upon their owners and possibly wreaking havoc like what happened in the North. That was but one of many crises designed to weaken your realm. Were the appearance of the Thraken and the Titans also your doing? I might have mentioned in passing to the other gods <laughs> that if they attacked from the South, there was a possibility my forces could attack from the Northwest, and thereby unite the continent under the rule of the gods. So, you were basically just distracting everyone from the fact that you were building your own armies and consolidating your rule. And up until now, everything has gone exactly as I had predicted. It's capturing me and sending me to Lytheral, part of your plans? I told that superstitious fool that my prophets foretold of one who would arise to destroy his kingdom. And I was the one they prophesied of. There were no prophecies, mages. I knew that eventually another god would be born, and could be persuaded to use his powers to bring down King Lytheral and his kingdom. What makes you think you could get me to do anything for you? Honestly, did you not find it strange that an assassin from the mighty god <gasps> Hall Oh no! It's exactly what we thought it would be! And I'm unfazed! <laughs> oh, exactly no. as I thought I would be! And did you really believe that Rune of Memory actually exists? Ah. Uh, Lord Mages, despite your raw power, you are little more than a naive child. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. I don't know what's going on. Tell me it's not true, lady. Everything I did in the past was done in service to the gods, my king. It was always supposed to be for your benefit. Stabbing me in the back? Yes. You are the only god I've found worthy to serve. And I swear to continue to do so until I die. What do I believe you? I swear on my life that I will never lie to you again. Please, forgive me, my king. I'm never going to trust anybody ever again. I'm going to my room. <laughs> Fortunately for you, Lord Magus, I do not require your trust, only your obedience. Swear fealty to me, and the combined might of our divine powers and armies will make the other gods tremble in fear. Why you want to start a war with the other gods? The question you should be asking yourself is, why share power with the other gods <laughs> when we can have it all to ourselves? 
I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna kill you and do my own thing. Now choose, Lord Mages. Strike down the traitor Kina and swear fealty to me, or die. <clears throat> this seems like one of the only decisions that we might actually get to make, Josh. <laughs> uh... I mean, I guess we keep the girl. Alright, so we're fighting the lady? Yeah. It is you who will die this day. <laughs> Ignorant child. You would choose her over a god? So be it. Go, mummy man. Wait a minute. I know I know how to deal with you. I'm gonna do this black hole. Okay, I can't do the black hole thing because I keep hitting you with it. There it is. I got you. <laughs> oh, conqueror. I am. How many damn trophies are in this game? <laughs> At least seven. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Do it doesn't appear to work that well. Maybe it's on cooldown? Maybe I can only do it so much? Yeah, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, okay, there's a cooldown. Oh, you just straight disappeared. Uh, we're just probably going to stick with green, because that's still my highest skill. Fight for me! Plus her homie died. Oh, come back, homie. Now we gotta, after we beat it, we gotta 100% it, so we gotta put all our stats on. <laughs> You have fun with that, my friend. You can do that all on your lonesome. I don't want it. <laughs> Asbestos! So do you just keep popping up? Am I just... right. Too fast! You can't stop me! We're level 27. What new skills did we get? Six, six skill points without any fun. <laughs> yep. Tornado. Uh, okay. Portal. Don't care. Vacuum. Don't care. Undead explosion. Cause yeah. all of the dead you've resurrected to explode. Eh. Possession. Well, go ahead and I put... I do want to try possession. One and everything. Well, I want to see if there's... Floods the area with dark matter and inflicting a great deal of damage to all enemies in range. Hang on, I want to possess them. That's cool. What, do you just sit there? Oh, that lasts for eight seconds. <laughs> Can I possess the main lady? I want to possess you. Why can't I? Possess. There we go. Get away from. Oh, get, I fall down. <laughs> okay. Well, it was cool in theory. And yes. So let's try that one. Oh, I gotta wait for the other skill to cool down. Wow, that was cool. Yeah, it is a surprisingly cool effect. Oh, I'm stunned. Wow, we're actually taking damage. <laughs> so, the one true battle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, stop stunning. Get dark matter. What matters? Dark matter. Dark don't matter. Oh, she do that too. Get dark matter. Wow. Did you see all that experience? Mm -hmm. That was a lot. Yeah. Probably already ranked up like 20 times. I swear to God, she just said, Whoa, it's me. Whoa. Whoa. Get Dark Matter. And that was a show called Blossom. <laughs> Whoa. With the. Uh, well, Joey. It? Joey, yeah. What is his name, Joey? Yeah, Joey. Get Dark Matter. What a riveting battle. <gasps> 
Because if you've told me time and time again, I am a god. That makes no sense. I'm not sure I understand. I had a choice. I could choose to be vengeful. A vengeful god filled with hate, or a forgiving god who believes in second chances. Humanity. Humanity. <laughs> I to express my gratitude for what you've given me, my king. I am yours, heart and soul, now and forever. That's the other reason I couldn't bring myself to kill you. <laughs> my king. I care about you far too much. Words cannot describe how <laughs> to hear you say that. Oh, together we will smooch a bunch. I will do anything you ask, my king. I do have something in mind. Yes, my king. I hereby name you queen, first of her line and ruler of the lands of the north. King Majors, I am not worthy of such an honor. You don't die. I, that's pretty good. <laughs> I am not sure how I should respond, my king. You could start by accepting. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, Mr. Burns. Now gather up any officers you think are competent. Return with me to the tower. Thanks to the former queen of this realm, the other gods will soon be arriving on our shores. I assure you that we will be more than prepared for their arrival, my king. There's going to be more? There won't be more. <laughs> they will need to be prepared for our arrival. Come spring, we will cross the ocean and invade their land. Very bold, my king. Worthy of a god. I will be a better god with you. They follow us now, cause reasons. <laughs> we look like such a doofus. <laughs> doofus and doofus. <laughs> doofus and doofus. <laughs> I love it. With our big doofus hands. We're like slouching. Hey, oh, the new god. He looks like a doofus. <laughs> Man, I can't wait for the sequel. <laughs> oh, there isn't one. The expansion pack is probably... There isn't one. DLC? There isn't any. Mm. There has to be some other game that's the predecessor of Max. It's too much of a cult classic. Not even a cult classic, just an obvious classic. Oh. Uh... Demonetized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ha, joke's on you. I'm not monetized. <laughs> uh. Yeah. 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 Uh. 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 Oh. We get to put pictures of the uh, people that did it. That's cool. And one doofus, another doofus. And other doofus. And cowgirl. Oh, Well, that was Magus. Well, there was probably an cutscene. Like, after the credits? Yeah. Um, so I guess I can just keep going forever if I want. Maybe. I don't. Actually, go, go to your, uh, um, whatchamacallit. Hang on. I gotta see what's behind this door. Chromatic something. Heavenly armor. Heavenly crown and heavenly armor. I mean, we still look pretty doofy. <laughs> yes. Armor of immortality. Why? We are a immortal. Yeah, we'll just stay looking like this doofus forever. So that's the game. We maybe there might be some more to it. You know, like, uh, like you know, when a game finishes, more stuff unlocks. Feel free to Google that. <laughs> I'm a. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> I am curious what max level is. I'm guessing 30. Since, uh... No. Since some of these skills you have to be 30 to get. Yeah. It's 99. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like, why? It's 5,000. What is this, Disgaea? <laughs> what was the last thing? What did we rank up to right now? 27? 28. We are the Magus. Are we like... Hail King Magus, god and ruler of this kingdom. I swear...
I thought you'd appreciate it. So, where do we go from here? It's a hot coffee mod. Oh no. <laughs> As always, I am with you. I will answer what I can, my king. So she just has the same dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah nothing unlocks. Nothing new. So what did you think of Magus? Magus. Well, I will. I would say this: if we didn't do it together, I don't think I would have finished. It. Oh God, no! <laughs> Absolutely. Because half the way through, when we were doing the desert or whatever, I probably. Fell I had asleep. more fun this time than last time, even though I was more verbal about how annoyed I was mm -hmm. this time than last time. Um, if, it's not a very good game. No. But it's not a terrible game. If it's just not great. It would went up a notch if the desert. It sense. Well, one, yeah. If the writing got a little bit, better. but no. If the uh, desert and ice level was cut in half and made two different levels, yeah, or something. Just to just change it up, maybe a swamp area, or <laughs> I mean, there was no sewer level. Oh God! But. So this has a 32 on Metacritic. Would you give this a 3 out of 10? No. I'll give it a 4 or 5. It has one positive rating. I don't think I can argue that Magus is a good game. In fact, there's a strong argument to be made that it's kind of terrible. It's short. It's ugly. It's easy. It's kind of stupid. Basically, by any conventional judging of good or bad, it probably comes out on the wrong side of the ledger. Here's the thing, though. I loved it. <laughs> I mean, would I recommend this to everyone? No. I would recommend this to almost no one. Would I recommend it to my my enemies? Yes. but no. <laughs> See, it's not bad enough to recommend to my enemies. So for me, a game to be really bad, it has to be like, your punishment is to beat this game. Madden 21? I don't know anything about that. Is it bad? I mean, it's the same game every year. It's sports. It, it's like a time loop. It keeps on going. Remember, kids, just say no to sports. Yeah, sports games are like Groundhog Day. They just never <laughs> end, but they're not funny. No, I... if, if I was just playing it by myself, I would recommend it to you. And then, then that's it. I thought you said you'd recommend it to your enemies. And my friend. Oh. <laughs> I see. My friend that likes this shit. Alright. That's fair. Because, <laughs> by the way, we, it was, we were trying to figure out when we were going to play this. Were we going to play this or were we going to play Countdown Vampires? Which is also terrible. Which is... Like a uh, a terrible version of Resident Evil on the PlayStation. Yeah, and and this one was shorter, so we picked it first. Yes. Uh, what's the Metacritic score for Countdown Vampires? I wonder that myself. What do you think it is? Six. It is a forty-one. So it's a four point one. Oh, okay. but the user scores are about six. So you're spot on with that. The writing mostly sucked. Some of it was good. <clears throat> Some of it was totally passable. But most of it was like, I'm an angsty teenager, and you may suck. You may fight me, but first you're gonna have to fight your head out of my butt for air. I <laughs> got you, <laughs> burn. What? I I. Do remember hearing about this with it? There is a countdown <laughs> that happens all the goddamn time in that game. In Countdown Vampires, yes. that makes me not want to play <laughs> it. I hate time stuff, except um, Dead Rising. I love Dead Rising, but I don't think it's like like I, since I haven't played it in anything like that. It ain't like it was a hard timer. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> so overall, I think Magus, Magus, could have been a lot worse. Oh yeah, it could have been unplayable. It's not unplayable. Oh, it could... sometimes the combat was even kind of fun. 
It could be Wii Shovelware. It could have been that completely. This is better than a lot of Wii Shovelware. Yes. Like Ninja Bread Man? That's unplayable because you fall through the ground all the time? Yeah, I'm with you on that. I mean, like... I... What, I Chicken don't... Shooter? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, I don't remember... I'm sure we had some, but I don't really remember glitches in this. Do you? Uh, it ran pretty smoothly. I mean, the frame rate kind of tanked sometimes when there was a lot of stuff yeah. going on. But I think that. this is running on, like, Unreal Engine 2. So, <laughs> Listen, this ain't cyberpunk glitchy. This is no in nothing like that. But then you got to think about, why was cyberpunk glitchy? Because it had so much stuff. Mm -hmm. This was just kind of glitchy cause. It had no stuff? Maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> Dialogue mostly sucked. Sometimes it was okay. Um, I actually do like a lot of the aesthetics. I think a lot of this stuff looks kind of neat, but it also looks like something I could make. Yes. Like top left, right? Health, green, blue, red. I feel like I could make that in Microsoft Paint. Alternatively, this globe looks kind of neat. And like, this wall looks okay. I couldn't do that. And like, some of the effects were kind of cool. Like, that looks pretty cool. Even though it does make the frame rate tank. But, like, the distortion effect it does afterwards, pretty cool. I don't know what that guy's deal is, but, you know, he's there. <laughs> he's, just, he's just there. He doesn't even hold his sword. Is he a mummy? He was a, he was a undead. Yeah, he was like a boss we fought. Yeah. He's like, well, I'll help you. Sure, let's be besties. See, I think... The one thing that I think the developers did in this game, I, I think they took stuff from other... Sh like, listen, the unicorn guy uh -huh. doesn't look like a unicorn guy. Looks like something from an Egyptian, like... Like set. Yeah. You know? Like like one of the other gods. Yeah. He's like, oh, let's put this in here because we'll just call it a unicorn. Blam. You know? Or whatever. Yeah. You got Jeeper Creeper guy over there. <laughs> Because you can't tell me that's not Jeepers Creepers. Of course. I don't know. I don't know that I've ever actually seen Jeepers Creepers. And like, who is this couch for? Why do I not have a throne? Why do I have a couch? Get wrecked. Either way. Could have been worse. Yes. Could, could have been a lot worse. We could, we could have played a lot worse games than this. But well... Let's do that now. <laughs> Let's find something worse. All right. Let's... This is probably the worst game I've ever finished. <laughs> I can say I, that. I, I, yeah, I can or that. at least the worst game I've ever finished that didn't uh, have, like, um, redeeming qualities. You know what I mean? Like, there's no real redeeming qualities for this. It's not like, I know the gameplay kind of sucks, but man, that story. Right. You know? It's like, no, it just kind of sucks all over. Well, but it's like a hangnail. You know? It's just like it's there, and it hurts. Do you remember that... The 21st it, night of September? Yes. No. Do you remember... <laughs> oh, um, it was called Murder Soul like, Suspect? Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. I didn't finish it. I did. <laughs> did I, it get better? You know what? We're going to go ahead and call the recording for YouTube because nobody wants to just listen to us talk about <laughs> random bullshit. If you do, let me know and you can listen to us talk about random bullshit all you like. We, we'll make a video just called Random Bullshit. <laughs> sure. <laughs> all right. So, YouTubers, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this game at all, let me know. Because uh, I enjoyed it some. Mm -hmm. It's like a gas station hot dog. Oh, like my tummy's it, rumbling. It did what it set out to do, which was be a video game. The same way a gas station hot dog is technically food, but it's not good food. And then it murders you. <laughs> it gives you like parasites. It's, it's that episode of uh, uh, Futurama. Yeah, <laughs> where they eat the, it gave the egg salad sandwich. All right, we're going to go. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Later. Bye.